Welcome to Nunavut, Canada, also known as Our Land. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Nunavut. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Nunavut, Canada. Population around 40,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Nunavut. Nunavut has the Northwest Territories to the west and Manitoba to the south. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Nunavut. People love Nunavut because of Baffin Island. With its breathtaking landscape, the warm hospitality of the indigenous Inuit people, and the numerous opportunities for a unique holiday experience, Baffin Island is a strong draw for tourists. But it can hardly be said that it suffers from an invasion of visitors, which is perfect for those who enjoy extreme remote, nature-inspired adventure travel. The island is the fifth largest in the world with a coastline and landscape that vary considerably. One of the best areas to visit is the island's eastern coast. In fact, it shares a scenery that's very similar to Norway with its steep fjords and small offshore islands boasting a long, narrow, alpine-like mountainous zone that reaches heights of 2,600 meters on the Cumberland Peninsula. People love Nunavut because of Ayuatuk National Park. Literally translated as the land where it never thaws, Ayuatuk National Park sits on the Cumberland Peninsula in the southeast of Baffin Island. The Penny Ice Cap, a remnant of Ice Age glaciation, takes up a large portion of the park. The landscape is characterized by broad valleys and rugged mountains with vertical walls rising up 1,200 meters in height. Of these, Mount Asgard is particularly impressive. People love none of it because of a Iqaluit. For many years, whalers, scientists, traders, and missionaries frequented Iqaluit, located at the end of Frobisher Bay. It was long known as the gateway to Baffin Island, and the Inuit name of Iqaluit means many fish. However, it was only in 1942, when the area was developed as the U.S. military airfield, that the community began to grow in size. Now the service and administrative center of the Baffin Island region, Iqaluit is a modern town with a complete infrastructure and is home to the Nunavut Legislative Assembly, as well as hotels, schools, a hospital, and cathedral. There's also a weather and radio station, as well as a camping site. People of Nunavut because of Ellesmere Island. Ellesmere Island lies in the extreme north of Canada and is the second largest island after Baffin Island on the Canadian archipelago. It was from Ellesmere's Cape Columbia that American explorer Robert Perry set out in 1909 to walk to the North Pole. In the extreme north of the island, you'll find Kittinitekapup National Park. This spectacular mountainous and glaciated region has a number of hiking trails known to serious backpackers and adventure seekers. There's plenty of wildlife spotting opportunities here too. Tourists often post pictures of sightings of seals and walrus, musk ox, wolves, arctic hare, and from a safe distance, polar bears. At the south end of Ellesmere Island is Greisfjord. This very small community boasts good hunting conditions and a beautiful arctic landscape that can be viewed during canoe and snowmobile tours. People of Nunavut because of Katinyapak National Park. Located in the extreme north of Ellesmere Island is Katinyapak National Park. This extremely mountainous and glaciated region is popular with hikers with a pertinent for adventure drawn here for its remoteness and a number of hiking trails that are known to serious backpackers. In this predominantly dry Arctic climate, pockets of relatively warm and moist temperatures enable plants to grow and animals to exist, such as in the area around Lake Hazen. Here you'll see everything from musk oxen, peri caribou, Arctic foxes and wolves, lemmings, and more than 30 species of birds. Most trips to Kaptinyapak begin in Resolute Bay. People of Nunavik because of Sermilik National Park. Soaring mountains, rugged glaciers, and a wide variety of wildlife perfectly describes Sermilik National Park. This beautifully rugged area is one of Canada's most remote and northern national parks, encompassing Bylot Island, Oliver Sound, and the Borden Peninsula. The land is made up of beautiful mountains, glaciers, ice fields, and coastal lowlands. While some visitors come here for boating and kayaking adventures, it's important to note that the coast is normally not free of ice until mid-July. 
during ice breakup and freeze up, travel to the park is not possible. People of Nunavut because of Nojat, also known as Repulse Bay, reached only by plane Nojet, known as Repulse Bay, up until 2015 before reverting to its native name, thrives on tourism. The big draw, tourism comes in search of land and sea adventures under the wisdom of Inuit tour guides. The European chapter of this part of Canada's history opened in 1741 when Captain Henry Middleton sailed into the deep bay known to the Inuit as Najet. Gull's resting place in search of the Northwest Passage. In his disappointment of not finding the Arctic route, Middleton christened the place Repulse Bay. People of Nunavut because of Belcher Islands. Off the Hudson Bay coast lie the barren Belcher Islands, another potential tourist destination in Nunavik, known to the Inuit as Sanakiluit. The islands support polar bears and an abundance of marine life, including beluga whales and walruses in the surrounding waters. While some adventure travelers come here to kayak, the Belcher Islands are however extremely remote and see very few visitors each year. There is an airstrip in Santa Kilowit which services the area, but most who visit arrive by boat. People of Nunavik because of Pond Inlet. Set on the Baffin Island coast, Pond Inlet, Mitmatalik in Inuit, is an Inuit village to the west of a rugged mountainous terrain. It attracts visitors for its natural beauty and culture, though the region is extremely remote and therefore costly to access. One of the top tourist attractions in the community is the Natanak Center, part museum, part visitor center. The facility features fascinating displays on the history, geography, and wildlife of the region. People of Nunavik because of Kalmarvi Territorial Park. The park, once home to the Thule people and known as the place that shines, is a rugged destination located on an island, accessible by ski, dog sled or snowmobile during the winter months and by boat during the open water season. Here visitors can see the remains of the old Thule sod houses and artifacts dating back more than 750 years ago. Also of interest are the many features that point to evidence of Inuit settlement and culture dating back as far as the 1600s. Travel tip, no camping is allowed, so plan to visit as part of a day trip to the island. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love none of it. If you've got a reason why you love none of it, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now.